The United States' innovation ecosystem is facing major cutbacks. The administration's proposed budget for 2026 calls for a 22% decrease in federal research and development funding, which has contributed to numerous major scientific advancements in the past decades. Federal R&D funding has really created the world around us, and it's had a deep impact on a wide range of industries. From the internet, to jet engines, GPS, touch screens, many medicines, it's safe to say that the world today would be profoundly different if the U.S. government didn't provide a steady stream of funding to R&D. If you have less scientific knowledge coming into that innovation ecosystem, you're probably going to see that ecosystem begin to diminish over time. Most of the proposed cuts are to non-defense agencies. While the Department of Defense's R&D funding is slated to decrease by only 6%, scientific research in the non-defense sector could be cut by 36%. If we break down the proposal by agency, the National Science Foundation faces the steepest proportional cuts at 56% of its 2025 budget, followed by the National Institutes of Health and the Department of Energy. Cuts to these civilian institutions could impact national security. Federal R&D and national security are deeply interlinked. Calling agencies, say like NIH or the NSF, uh, non-defense agencies, is actually a bit of a misnomer. The NSF supports key research into technologies such as wireless communications devices, radar and explosive detection systems, while the NIH supports research into countermeasures against chemical weapons, biological threats, and radiation exposure. There is direct overlap between the work that these innovative agencies do and our national security. As the future of U.S. R&D is up in the air, both adversaries and allies of the United States are seeking to capitalize on the shortfall in research funding. Other nations are actually looking at this as an opportunity, using it as a chance to recruit and attract scientists from the United States who are either out of work or feeling like their future career prospects in the United States are deeply uncertain right now. And this is a big concern for U.S. innovation, which historically has been the country that attracts top talent from around the globe. Going back to the mid-20th century, top American scientists such as Albert Einstein actually came to the United States so that they could do their work. The 2026 budget is now in the hands of Congress, and a bipartisan group of lawmakers has pushed back against the proposed R&D budgets in favor of less severe cuts. Investments into R&D are among the best investments that government can make in terms of their return. Some studies suggest that each dollar of federal R&D spending creates over five dollars in economic growth, while other studies argue that the return is higher still. There is room for reform in the U.S. federal R&D enterprise. Not many people would argue that. But if you want to lead in innovation in the critical technologies of the future, you have to also invest in the basic research that drives these innovations. 